Hi, my name's Ellie. Welcome to my channel. We're doing more makeup today. Um, this is old. Nobody wanted this except for me. This is the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Friendcation Palette. I've been wanting it since I saw it and I just have avoided buying it and it's been on sale and I haven't forgot about it. So we're going to do a really boring look out of this. Um, oh, I don't know how to read the names on these. It's that thing where they're on the back and I always get them wrong. So I'm most likely going to do some combination of, you know, the pinky bits. It's an old palette that nobody was very excited about and I just, I wanted it. I don't, I really don't have a good reason other than I couldn't stop thinking about wanting it. So we're going to play with it because it, it happened. I'm starting with the matte berry color for the crease. I'm most likely just gonna do a really boring uh, look with like the the pink shimmer and obviously the pink matte. I just I really like glitter and I thought about it when it first came out and was like no we'll leave it until later we'll do I'll, I'll stop thinking about it, and I just, every time I'd be like, huh, there was something, and then I'd see it, and it's been sitting on sale, and I've kind of done that thing where I'm like, well, if it was at this store, and I see it, then I'll get it, and it just kept being on the site, and on sale, and I wanted it. So, now I have it. This is also mainly a test to see how the glitters apply. I, I'm i hoping they will be the kind of glitters you can put on with a regular brush. If not, I'm going to be a little disappointed because I just, I have a lot of things that require bases and that's not my favorite and that was one of the reasons. I was holding off on this palette because I did not trust Dose of Colors to make a glitter formula that would apply easily. But they're really pretty glitter shades and I am a monster, so we're just going to keep going with the app. See how much we can blend this out before we add more product. The mats are nice so far. The mats are very nice. I went into the matte white and the matte pink for that, that's helping a lot. Yeah, the mattes were not what I was excited about, but they are pretty. Especially since that's what I've heard the most about when people talk about Dose of Colors are how pretty their matte shadows are. I really like how this eye's looking. This eye just needs to get on board. It's not there yet. It'll do. Okay, for shadows, I'm, oh, I don't really know what I want to try to apply it with. We'll do this one. 
it's fluffy enough that it picks up product, but also dense enough to put some pressure, which makes me optimistic. Let's try the pink one. Oh. That applies quite nicely. It looks kind of sheer, but it is also just overall a lighter color. Like there's fallout, but it's cute. Yes. I've had so many palettes that have just straight up glitters that are gorgeous, but really just don't adhere to the lid for shit. Whereas this looks, it's playing a little bit more like a shimmer, which I think this one is more of a shimmer shadow than some of the others, but at least... At least it's going on nicely. Pretty pretty shade, pretty mattes. So far this is not a bad purchase, if I do say so myself. I'm going to take a teensy bit of the dark brown just to kind of define the outer edge, which didn't go very well. And then we will blend that. And then we get to put a little more of the pink on and try to do the inner corner with that aggressive gold shimmer. For that, I want to try this guy, flat packy brush. That adheres quite nicely. Mm. This is going better than expected. I was so worried that I had bought a palette that was another thing I had to do extra careful things with. Especially because it looks like such a nice, quick, like, simple look like this is the type of thing I think of when I look at that palette you know something in the crease something on the lid and that's kind of it It's a little extra for the inner corner, but that's not bad for a first look. I know it's still very boring. But we'll do some more color another day. I've had a weird couple days where I keep being very tired, and since I don't have anywhere to be, it's really hard to talk myself out of taking a nap, but um, since my body always wants to be asleep, just if I have the option and I have nowhere to be, my body's like, why don't we just go to sleep? And on days like quarantine, we're like, I don't have a specific task, I don't have anywhere I need to be, I just, it, I just sleep for, you know, eight hours, get up, do something for a couple hours, go back to sleep for eight hours. <laughs> 
and I keep being like, oh, I'm going to fix my schedule and be on days so that when it's time to go back to work, I'm, I'm already back on day schedule. Nope. I went to sleep yesterday. I was like, it's, it's 8 or 9, I'm tired. We'll go to sleep, I'll sleep all night, and it'll be fine, and I'll get up on day schedule. I did not do that. I woke up at like 1 a.m. I was like, well, I'm awake now. So I went downstairs and I worked out and I ate breakfast and around 5 o'clock I got sleepy again. So I went back to like, I'll just sleep for a couple hours and get up at 8 and then I'll be up for the day on day schedule. And I woke up at 2 in the afternoon. So. It's been a couple days of not wanting to do anything. I didn't do makeup yesterday and... I also have very vivid dreams, so it's not like nothingness is happening while I'm sleeping. Sleeping, I'm having fun dreams, but just still trying to kill that bronzer in the corner. It's so close. And then I can do Project Pan update with an empty pan. But it's just so close. So, that's what happened yesterday, so there was no makeup yesterday, and since I don't have a goal this week or any specific makeup plans, I'm trying not to just use that Arcana palette over and over and over again, as much as I would enjoy that. It's really pretty. It's what I would be doing if I was going to work, because then I would wear it during the week get a bunch of looks out of it, and then have an opinion for, uh, like a weekend video on my thoughts on the palette. But since I'm filming every day as opposed to on the weekends, it seems rude to make you guys watch a bunch of the same palette. But it's kind of what I want to do. So I'm trying to do other palettes. And I should use things. Ugh. So the problem having my hair down while I'm doing stuff is it gets in the way of trying to do stuff at my hairline. It's so hard to get that last little bit of bronzer. real hard get that last amount of product out I did go and find some unbleached flour I've been trying to make a sourdough starter and I, I read all the stuff saying that bleached flour was not a good plan I was like no it's fine I'm gonna make it work it's gonna be fine no it's fermenting but it's not fermenting quite right so I went and got some unbleached flour. And now I'm adding that in and hoping eventually that'll cut down on it and make it ferment properly. Which I'm excited about. So close to dead. Ah! Ha ha ha! Use the last little bit of it. Yay! Okay, well I'm gonna have to put the last bit of product. It also didn't help that it was like cool and overcast and just, it was perfect napping weather. So I just napped all day and it was awesome. using Frankenblush, which is also nearing its death. I really want these things to either be like 
super close to done or done before I do my update because I have things that I'm going to be putting in and I'm ready to start using those things but it seems early if the other thing isn't finished yet. Especially when I've hit that point that everything is just so close to finished. Like that is... That's all that's left. It's almost done. Almost. We're gonna get there. Also, this is one of my work shirts that's just, it's made for sitting like this. It doesn't really accommodate my arms moving forward very well, but it is so cute. Just wish it had it had accommodated my shoulders and assumed that I wanted to actually move my arms forward because it fits everywhere else except when I try to like reach for things, which is not fun when I very much need to reach forward to do things. Like I have to reach forward at work too. I have to type. It's not great. It makes me sad and I forget it until I use this shirt every time. I forgot I was gonna. Knock my blush back. This is an appropriately rosy look for my shirt that isn't nearly as rosy as I always think it is. I picture the shirt as very pink. It's like kind of pink. It's more pink in person because of the lighting, but. Dew and brows. The most, well, one of the most boring parts of my makeup. I am very excited about this eyeshadow palette. It's pretty, it's cute, it's something I can wear to the office a bunch. I feel like it was a good decision. I waited long enough to know that I really, really, really wanted it. So far it seems to be applying quite nicely. We will find out. I want to do a look with the, like the olivey gold shade and the blue shade. We'll do that later this week. What do I want to do for highlighter? Because I used up Pink Hearts done. Mm. We will use the Franken highlighter. Since I don't use that very much, we'll probably top it with um, vanilla quartz per usual. So, Franken highlighter, which has been seeing some fun usage.
and then just a little bit of vanilla quartz. There's so many different highlighters that are just so close to death. Because Vanilla Quartz has a bunch of pan in it. This is moving over. It's just so many things. They're so close to finished. It's very hard to sit back and be like, oh no, it's fine. We can totally wait longer and then do different things. It's fine. use this. That's a good, good lip choice. My sunflower sprouted. I don't know if I even told you guys I was planting, planting sunflower seeds, but they sprouted. They're growing real fast. Very impressed by them. mascara yeah I'm just waiting they're opening up more of the state of Missouri but they still haven't opened up St. Louis County so, I haven't gotten the call to go back to work yet. I really like how this look turned out. Feels cute. I'm still quite annoyed that every time I put on the shirt I forget how little shoulder mobility I have in it, but it's also a cute shirt. I do wish they would make shirts with extra shoulder room to allow you to actually move. Because this is a shirt made for plus size people and it's, it's cut way further down than I would have expected. Like I've pinned it so that it's not as open but for a plus size person I don't have the biggest chest so I'm always surprised when they have these things where I'm like I'm busting out of this. How is somebody with a more proportionate size to their boobs to their frame? going to deal with this. Don't know why, but I've decided we're doing very subtle mascara today. Because we're delicate ladies.
Okay, that is the finished look. Uh, official opinion so far, first impressions, I really like that eyeshadow palette. I'm glad I made that purchase. I am happy I waited that I got it on sale, but hopefully I'll we'll have some fun looks coming up. I think it turned out quite nice. I'm going to go gather all my shit for a project pen update now that I finished that bronzer. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow or the other next day or the next day. Bye.